an endangered species of horse, known as Przewalski's horse, is much more distantly related to the domestic horse than researchers had previously hypothesized, reports a team of investigators led by Katerina Makova, a Penn State University associate professor of biology. The scientists tested the portion of the genome passed exclusively from mother to offspring, the mitochondrial DNA, of four Przewalski's horse lineages and compared the data to DNA from the domestic horse. Przewalski's horse, a stocky short maned species named after a Russian explorer who first encountered the animal in the wild, became endangered during the middle of the last century when the species experienced a population bottleneck, an evolutionary event in which many or most members of a population or a species die. Przewalski's horses were hunted down for food, and their natural habitat, the steppes, were converted into farmland so that the horses basically had nowhere to live and breed. By the late 1950s, only 12 individual horses remained. Because conservationists have made noble efforts to rescue this dwindling population, the present-day population has grown to 2,000. Scientists thought previously that perhaps this horse is the uh, direct uh, progenitor of the domestic horse. Uh, there was also another idea that perhaps the domestic horse is the uh, direct ancestor of the uh, Przewalski horses. Makova's team discovered that neither scenario is likely. Instead, her team's data suggests that Przewalski's horse and the domestic horse are much more distantly related. In fact, they probably shared a common ancestor as far back as 160,000 years ago, long before horse domestication. Although the two species diverged well over 100,000 years ago, they have interbred periodically since then. Also fortunate is the fact that conservationists not only began new breeding efforts and built wildlife reserves, but they also made sure to avoid inbreeding among close relatives. So now as we have the complete sequences of mitochondria DNA for all four surviving maternal lineages of Przewalski horses, now um, we can make very informed decisions about the subsequent breeding efforts and the subsequent reintroduction um, efforts into the wild. For ScienceCast, I'm Christina Ambalski.